Aujourd'hui, uh, je vais parler de, uh, I guess, maybe the ethics of keeping a pet, full stop. Okay, maybe not full stop, right? I'm a pretty selfish human being, and I want Mr. Fluffy to be my prop here. But still, these days, we have to wonder whether he just wants to be free. Inherently, I mean. Hey, Zampak here. So, we've had this cat for a while. Me personally, I've only been in the picture for a couple of years, but my wife has had Mr. Fluffy here for about as long as they'd allow for uh, since he was a kitten, basically. These days we have a house with a yard, and we notice that Mr. Fluffy here will wait by the door, and whenever it's open, well, he'll dart on out if the door is left open. This makes me, uh, this makes my wifey sad because she thinks Mr. Fluffy wants to run away. Be free! Woo! I mean, so today I want to examine whether, from our perspective, that's true or not. So, point number one, right? The need for territory. This is probably my best defense against the idea that Mr. Fluffy actually wants to not be here. Uh, this is really against you know, his instinctual need to simply expand his territory, right? For a long time viewers of mine, I mean, hey, all three of you, let's be honest. <laughs> You'd know that this cat is not known for uh, his bravery uh, or a lack of regard for his own survival by, by any means, okay? So we're a bit surprised that he's willing uh, to dart on out of the door nowadays. It wasn't always like this. Heck, only a few months ago, if I uh, left the door, front door open, he'd just kind of sit at the threshold, maybe only peek outside, but not actually physically step outside. So what changed? Since the only element that's changed is time, my best guess is just that he's gotten more secure and confident about the whole house already being marked as his territory, right? So now he wants to make it bigger. I mean, isn't that kind of human-like, right? We're never quite satisfied with, with our, uh, what we already have, right? Plus, from what, what I can gather uh, via the interwebs, uh, in, the, uh, in the wild, the territory for a, a feral cat uh, is much bigger than the typical size of a house lot uh, in any major New York, uh, US city. So maybe it's not that surprising. After all, in the wild, he'd need a larger piece of land to chance upon actual game to hunt and eat, right? No magic bow up here uh, with fancy feet for you if you're in the wild. So you have to run and hide and, you know, mark your territory in a wide area. You silly, fluffy kitty. Why are you looking back at me? Why are you so cute? Look at you. So happy. <laughs> all right, point on two. Second reason, I, I don't actually think he wants to run away. I mean, he's still quite resistant, uh, have, sorry, not resistant, hesitant, right? Once he does go outside against any semblance of a border, right? The most recent example would be once he does uh, dash out of the back door, he won't actually go on the newly rocked uh, area of our yard. Yeah, we got lazy and just rocked over the entire front yard and a good portion of the side yard, but that's really for me so I don't have to do uh, too much lawn maintenance, okay? So, uh, that apparently is enough to, you know, give him pause. My wife, he thinks that he doesn't want to step on the rocks because rocks are not comfortable uh, to walk on, but that's really for my wife because she doesn't want like to wear shoes, so it's uncomfortable for for her to walk on, I actually disagree because I think cats can pretty much pick and choose where they step uh, pretty uh, gingerly, like they're very light-footed. Plus, his little paws has padding, right? Unlike our human bare feet. Now, what I, I gather from this is almost an extension of that whole front door threshold idea that held him back for quite a while, right? He's just not comfortable with crossing boundaries until uh, he's gotten used to it. He got used to the front door and seeing us entering and exiting, but since he's rarely outside, we rarely let him outside. He's never actually seen anyone else, you know, cross the rocked area uh, of the yard, so he's hesitating. I mean, this tells me he wants to explore, right? Not so much that he's feeling so oppressed and must run away from us at all costs or something. Oh man, I'm anthropomorphizing this cat quite a bit, aren't I? Oh well. I guess we can't really help it. Look at him. He just turned. He just turned. Look at him. He turned like this. He's like, why is this guy keep moving me? <laughs> so cute. 
And finally, point number three. The reality is, we also just think that this cat uh, will probably not do well in nature, right? I've seen him frantically chase a, a hairpin or a tufts of, uh, of his own hair more than any actual living creature, right? Uh, occasionally there'll be some flying bugs in the house and he'd chase it for a bit and lose interest, you know, in less than a minute or two, I would say. I watch this with amusement, but also trepidation. I mean, come on, little guy. If we weren't feeding you on the regular, would you be more persistent? And of course, there's the fact that he's the clawed. I know, I know. That's apparently quite traumatic for the cat. And probably why uh, he bites on wifey's ankles occasionally, right? This was the decision wifey made years ago, and honestly, honestly I told her if we get another cat, that I'd prefer not to do that, right? Uh, we shall see what happens there. Now, tangent done. Back to Mr. Fluffy. So without his front claws, we do worry that if he somehow does get out into the yard, which currently do not have a full fence uh, around, and if he gets lost, will he be able to survive? Based on his current, you know, chubby state, right, his lack of actual hunting experience and no front claws, I concur that it doesn't look good, right? Sure, there may be a, a chance that when push comes to shove, he'll surprise us, but why chance it, right? So I think what I'm trying to get at uh, is I don't actually think that this cat wants to run away, run away for good, right? He knows a few words like his name and the word brush and most importantly salmon because it's fa it's his favorite treat. Uh, but this is all assuming that he can care, uh, hear my wife calling these words out for him to come back, right? The more I've known about this cat, the more I can't help but treat him like a human. I know he's not, and our morality shouldn't actually be applied to something that's not human, but still, Mr. Fluffy, being the state that you're in, it's not all bad, right? We feed you, and we clean you, and you look back at me, look at you, you're looking back at me right now. And we also provide some warmth, a warmth on the couch when sitting next to you, right, when it's cold. I hope you like us human enough to want to stick around. I promise when we redo the backyard, we'll find a spot so that you can uh, also be a curious outdoorsy kitty, okay? Please stay with us. Good boy, you've been such a good boy today. You've been such a good boy today. Oh, I forgot. Subscribe and like and comment and all that nonsense. So yeah, do that, please. Or not. Whatever. Cheers. I'll approach it.